Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. Today's video, we're going to be setting up a 20 metre dipole. So let's go up to the shack, I'll show you the dipole I've built, show you what connections I've used, then we'll come down outside again, suspend it between two posts, and then we'll check the SWR and see if we can get a contact across the band. Okay, for the dipole build, you're going to want a dipole centre. Now this one's around about £12 off eBay, and I featured this in the two meter dipole build. You can also use the no solder dipole antenna connections, which is just a BNC plug with um, some banana jacks on the end of it. And all you do is tie your wires around to here, and that is where your coax goes. That was around about 12 quid, and the other one was around about three quid off, off eBay. Gonna want some speaker wire, and we're gonna use some red and black speaker wire. On the end of the speaker wire, I've soldered one of these terminal connections on there. And I've also added a loop there with cable tie. You can see that? So I can clip it onto things like a tree branch and so on. I've done exactly the same with the red cable. Added a terminal connection there and added a, a connection there so I can hook it up to a tree branch and so on. You can use anything you want really, paracord, string, whatever you've got lying around. Anything to hang up the dipole. Now, the connections on the end, the ring terminal connections, probably get them in your local hardware store about 20 pence each, 25 pence each, something like that. But I've got a little kit here, which is a wire terminal assortment, 150 pieces. And that's what I use, I think it was about six pounds off Amazon. There's quite a load in there. And also I got this kit here, which is a power fix that I got from uh, Lidl's actually, in Uxbridge. And uh, yeah, this has got a load of uh, heat shrink and stuff there. And you could add, if you wanted to, heat shrink to the end there, just to make it a bit neater on there. So let's go out and set the dipo up to the SWR and see if we can get a contact. Okay, so I've done a simple setup uh, with the cable tie on the end there. You can see there, because we're in on that. That's on the end of my silver rod. Zoom back out. It goes down to the dipole center, which goes up to the spirit of air pole there. And that's here connected to the bike stand, which is just there. So what we do, we'll test the SWR and see what the SWR is like on 20 meters. Okay, so at 14100, the SWR is sitting there around about 1.6. Let's go down. At 14010, around about 1.6. Now what you can do is use a tuner on the radio to tune it in so it'll be usable across the band. But yeah, so far, so good. Okay, so the radio's firing up, doing its self-power on test. We'll find a clear frequency, and I'll just press the tuner button on the radio and uh, see if we can hear it on the band and maybe make a contact. Sounds quite clear, that one. Press and hold the tuner button. There we go, let's go down again. Certainly a lot more stations on than I heard earlier. Let's try to tune the button again. That's better. Sick up so you can hear all these other stations. There we go. Let's try and make contact. He's nice and strong. Yes, 2E0 IQJ, QRP, QRP portable. Again? 2 Echo 0, Italy, Queen, Japan, QRP portable. Uh, portable? Yes, 2 Echo 0, Italy, Queen, Japan, 2E0 IQJ. Yes, thank you much for the five nine running five whiskies, five whiskies, and you're five nine into London, England, QSL. Uh, my thanks, my congratulations, and done a very good job. Wishes a seventy three to push part of that we got to family. Bye bye. Yeah, seventy three. Stay safe. Good luck. Thank you. QSL. 
Yeah, so we go the 20 meter dipole but I have two pieces of speaker wire. I got speaker wire from Theo, so good on you Theo. And it was around about five meters in length each radial. I did 20, half of 20 is 10, half of 10 is five, and it's five meters each length, and I just put it onto the dipole center. I did connect it to the silver rod. The wire wasn't touching the silver rod, the cable tie was. Yes, I could have put a piece of string on it or a bit of bungee cord or paracord to keep it away from the silver rod. But yes, WR was okay. I used a tuner to bring it down. Now I brought this. This is a multi-purpose rope. This was a fiver out of pound stretcher. And this should help me when I go to go portable with this dipole. Hopefully I can uh, connect one end to a tree, throw this over at another part of the tree branch, and then use this to hoist up the antenna and try some uh, portable operation with this. Get away from the noise, get away from the shack, get away from all the Chinese rubbish that people plug in that causes problems on the band. So yeah, I'll be giving that a try at some point. It was only a fiver. If it's no good, it's no good, it's only a fiver. I'm sure I can find a use for that uh, around the shack and around the home. Anyhow, if you've built a dipole for say 20 meters, how are you finding the dipole? I'm finding I'm hearing a lot more stations. Cube said it to me the other week, he said, have you heard more stations? I said, yeah, I'm hearing a lot more stations now because the antenna is designed for that frequency. More time for that frequency. So how are you getting on with your dipole you've built? If you've built one, if you've built one for 20 meters, you've built one for 40, post it in the comments below. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ, 7.3s for now.